good afternoon everyone hope everyone are having a good time uh, i'm deena working as a principal software development engineer in apj solutions for list team our team work in collaboration with sales marketing business development pro serve service teams apn partners and other key stakeholders to communicate architectural best practices and develop standardized automated solutions for aws platform our objective is to provide a prescriptive guidance and consulting offers that enables and accelerate customer adoption in aws and thank you for the opportunity to introduce amazon connect an omni channel cloud contact center my goal for this meeting is to show you guys how aws is innovating in the contact center space to help organization to improve customer experience and how amazon connect features help an agent to provide better customer experience let's dive deep into some of the aws and ai ml features uh integrated with amazon connect to provide better customer experience as highlighted by ryan earlier uh, in order to save the bandwidth for everyone and also myself i'm going to switch off the camera and i'll switch it on back at the end of it yeah okay before we get started i wanted to share with you some of the most common questions we hear from enterprises about contact centers and about customer experience in general every day enterprises look for opportunities to provide flawless customer experience and everyone is being asked to do more with less but how how do you both improve customer experience while reducing cost how can you prioritize innovation over ensuring that the platforms remain stable without adding any headcount or expensive high availability solutions do these questions resonate you with your priorities around customer experience uh, let's try to find our answers with amazon connect the notion of contact center has evolved over the past two decades uh, this slide represents the common contact center challenges faced by most of our organizations where uh, the requires a traditional contact center has an expensive legacy solutions and difficulty to scale up and scale down during a sale time complex api to integrate with back end systems or with a system of record and unable to leverage ai or ml to find insights about the customer to provide a personalized uh, and enhanced customer experience so with this problems in mind today we are going to primarily focus on amazon connect from an agent perspective and what tools are going to be provided by amazon connect to enhance customer experience before going into a day in life of an agent let's understand what is amazon connect and what is under the hood Amazon Connect delivers a complete contact center solution at a fraction of cost of a traditional contact center solution. Like all AWS services, pricing for Amazon Connect is pay as you go, and there is no required long-term commitments or activation fees or minimum spend. You can instantly scale up and scale down to meet your needs without worrying about the infrastructure or the telephone setup or the hardware or the space or any capacity-related requirements. with customer connected minutes you pay for the time your customers are connected to the service plus the telephone we use and there are more than 150 aws services live today and our partners have already developed more than 180 integrations with amazon connect let's talk about the features of amazon connect that has been launched for the last 4 years to date the product team have been responsible for launching more than 147 major features of amazon connect to help organizations to innovate experience for their customers some of the uh, features include as ryan said earlier like amazon connect chat which allows agent to connect with customers through web or mobile medium of their choice and contact lens which leverages transcribe and comprehend which is our aws services which uses natural language processing to help contact center supervisors and the agents to track sentiments trends and compliance during a customer conversation in real time and thereby improving the customer conversations uh, to ensure that customer experience is made better amazon lex ai chatbots now supports multiple dialects and languages which include spanish with poly we can use machine learning to turn text into life like voices which is integrated with amazon connect i mean said 
what's our today's focus? Today's focus is primarily on from an agent perspective, what are all the problems they face uh, in a day in day, day in day out, and how Amazon Connect can be leveraged by the contact center agents to solve some of the problems faced by them to, to enhance customer experience. Having described about Amazon Connect, all that said, we still see a lot of businesses out there struggling to deliver a great customer service and their agents are challenged a lot. Today, working on a legacy contact center, agents waste a lot of time with a repetitive task. The problem is that most contact center agents lack low friction authentication tools, consolidated customer data where they need to look into multiple repositories to uh, get the data about a customer and their task and any actionable insights, efficient business processes that could enable them to help customers more quickly to improve customer experience. So because of that, they are not able to provide a better customer experience to the customers. For instance, how many of you uh, before uh, connecting to an agent you would be asked for multiple questions to authenticate yourselves. Yes, I understand that authentication is important to ensure that they prevent fraud and they need, they would be asking a lot of questions like, what's your mother's maiden name? What's your first car? What's your first school? Or other part of the security uh, workflows like uh, including OTP passwords to safeguard customers. But this leads to increased time in authenticating a particular user before trying to understand what is the problem they are trying to call. And it, it, in, it increases the large number of friction between the customer and the agents. Additionally, once a question has been asked to the agent, many agents are forced to work across multiple disconnected systems or departments to, in order to search for a particular information for a customer query. Agents have to manually take notes and then uh, they need to track down the task and then they need to upload the task into a corresponding systems to ensure that the next call, if the customer makes again, they are able to refer to the particular task and then check out the uh, status of the task and then update the customer uh, quickly. And supervisors spend a lot of time in listening to the conversations to understand, okay, how I can improve customer experience in the next call. And agents spend as much as more than 20% of the time in searching information while the customer is waiting on the call. I hope these things, these problems, you, you could uh, resonate when you make a call to a bank or may, when you make a call to uh, an agency to solve your problem from a contact center perspective. So this leaves, what, what, what does happen because of these? This leaves a, a customer feels they are impatient and annoyed and from an agent perspective, they feel frustrated and disengaged. Let's understand a day in life of a customer uh, from, a, from an agent perspective, and then how uh, Amazon Connect features are going to solve some of the problems faced by the agents so that they provide a better customer experience to, to the customers. A great agent needs to be knowledgeable, an active listener, empathetic, prioritize their work, and of course, fast to resolve customer issues. Amazon Connect empowers agent to focus on customer while making them more productive in several ways. Uh, for example, it's like Amazon Connect will save a lot of time in, uh, in ensuring that, okay, it brings in the natural language chatbots in both voice and text channels to perform the pre-authentication and also while performing the pre-authentication, it would also try to pull up the customer profile from CRM systems. And if all the customer needs can't be automated, there is a powerful skill-based routing mechanism in which that, okay, based upon the customer query, the best available agent would be linked back to solve the problem. Let's look into individual problems and then how, and let's map it to an Amazon Connect feature and how it solves it. First feature, which we are going to look into it is voice ID. As I said earlier, there is always a delay in getting a user authenticated. So voice ID was introduced in Amazon Connect to provide a real-time caller authentication that uses machine learning to verify the identity of the genuine customer by analyzing caller's unique characteristics like pitch, loudness, 
uh, and many other rhythm and many other uh, features from a voice segregation perspective. Voice ID uses machine learning to verify the identity of the genuine customers. Uh, and then it allows contact centers to use an additional security layer that doesn't rely on callers answering multiple security questions. And it makes it easy for the users to enroll and verify customers without changing the natural flow of the conversation. And customers doesn't have to repeat uh, phrases to enroll or verify their identity. Let's look into the flow that how it has been, how a uh, customer would enroll and how the IVR system would verify them. So voice ID requires two steps to authenticate. One is the customer enrollment part and the other one is a customer verification part. First, let's discuss about the enrollment process. When a customer calls for the first time, the agent confirms the identity of the caller by using existing security measures. Once the customer is opt-in for, uh, for an enrollment request, the voice ID captures 30 seconds of the customer speech and then it creates a unique voice print of the user. And the voice print leverages machine learning and uses uh, convert that into a mathematical representation uh, based upon an individual voice uh, having the characteristics based upon the rhythm, pitch, intonation and loudness. Now once a, a user has been enrolled, so then when the user calls back again, the IVR during the interaction with an agent, it, it requires a 10 seconds of the caller speech to generate the voice print and it compares the voice print with the existing voice print and then generates a authentication score. The authentication score varies from zero to 100 and based upon the authentication score, we can create some policies to ensure that, okay, if the authentication score is more than 90, you don't require a secondary authentication. If the authentication score is less than 50, then uh, create a secondary authentication to ensure that uh, a fraud has been detected or to, to prevent customer uh, uh, with, with uh, not, not authenticated uh, users. Now, having talked about voice ID, the next thing which I want to talk about is customer profile. Customer profile automatically brings together customer information from multiple applications into a single unified view of the customer. We always talk about from uh, from uh, flights and other things like single view of the customer. I think this is one way like we have leveraged uh, uh, multiple machine learning algorithms and integrations to ensure that we provide a single view of the customer to provide more insights uh, to the agents to provide a better customer experience. Let's take one of the example. Like Amazon Connect customer profile provides a way to present a unified view of the customer to provide agents with an information they need to understand what's happening with the customer and deliver fast, more personalized customer service. Contact center agents often switch between multiple applications and databases to search information about what they need uh, about the customer issue, or in some cases, they mean to toggling between 10 to 20 systems or different applications to find the specific information. For example, uh, in order uh, the, the agents will switch from a agent application to Salesforce to get their CRM information, then Marketo to a marketing automation uh, details, and they will also connect to ServiceNow to get uh, the ticket statuses, like get the contact details or the purchase, purchase history or ticket status or anything. So they need to switch to multiple systems to, to get the single view of the customer. What Amazon customer profile solves it is, it helps you to integrate with various systems and provide uh, a customer information and a contact history into a single unified customer profile that is delivered to the co contact center agents at the beginning of the customer interaction. Agents can search for profiles using name, email address, or phone numbers, or as well as create profiles for new customers. Customers can embed this pre-built agent application into their agent experience or they can build their own using the available APIs to build a custom profile. 
Okay. So now having talked about voice ID and customer profile, the next important thing which uh, I want to discuss is the contact lens for Amazon Connect. As Ryan said that there are a lot of AI services which is already available, which helps us to do uh, sentiment analysis and trans translation. So we have used uh, these AWS services to analyze the sentiment and compliance of the call. So supervisors uh, during the call, they can review the call transcript and see the cu customer sentiment, whether there is a positive or a negative or a neutral and see the alerts on the specific categories of the issues and they can assess their agents in real time while the call is ongoing. Having talked about Amazon contact lens, then let's talk about another issue an agent faces. Agents manually na navigate between knowledge repositories to find the information required by the customer. For example, I'll just give you with one of the example. Okay. Uh, a customer calls into a contact center. He wants to get help about a washing machine problem. So the agent begins calling, uh, begins begins to answer questions by stating that, hey, do you have the model number? And he might say that, no, I don't have the model number. Then he might come back and say that, uh, okay, is it the front load or top load? Then he would also ask, can you describe the sound, uh, the rattling sound which you're hearing it so that I can go ahead and fix it? Uh, then he would ask, uh, does that same noise comes from all sides of workloads? And he would also ask, when did you buy this machine? Do you have any warranty information or a warranty number? And these questions are asked in general by an agent to narrow down the problem so that they can perform the specific search. For example, they will start their search with a public website uh, about the particular product. Then they go into individual internal file share about the PDF containing the troubleshooting information of the particular, uh, particular query. And then they might go into the company's database to understand are there any previous problems similar to it has been reported so that they could find the solution and then give it to the customer. So this is what it does. And most of the time, agents will not be able to find the right information on time. And they escalate to a manager to say, hey, can we dispatch a technician to the particular customer's house to solve the issue? So this increases the cost to serve. And then it, it increases uh, uh, the time to solve the problem so that the customer is not happy with the product that they have bought. How do we solve this? One, Amazon Connect Wisdom helps us to integrate with various repositories and it has, it, it, it has powered machine learning to perform search the information that the agent needs it across the knowledge repositories. Then based upon the real time conversation that is happening with the customer, it, it pops up with insights stating that Okay, this is my recommendation. Do you want to use it? And it provides continuous improvement on the knowledge article surfaced by getting feedback from the agent, whether it is a positive or a negative, and then it continuously learns itself as said by Ryan and Leo. <coughs> Sorry. Let's look into some of the examples of the features. Uh, like as said earlier, like Amazon uh, uh, Connect Wisdom, is machine learning powered. It allows agents to search for a specific information about washing machine warranty and other things, and it, it pops up with the details. And the other thing which also does is, it does a real-time speech analytics automatically to say, okay, what type of washing machine? Okay, there is a rattling noise. Noise means there is some problem, so they need to pop up with the troubleshooting guide, and the troubleshooting guide gets pops up. So that the agent can click on the troubleshooting guide and then dive deep into the problem so that the customer feels more connected to the user in solving the issue. The next thing is about it is like how does wisdom learns itself and then continuously uh, train the model to ensure that it it, it is up, it, it delivers better uh, customer experience or better research results. So what it does is after the particular result has been shown, so it highlights to the agent say, hey, was this information helpful? whether he will provide a thumbs up or a thumbs down and also provide bit details of the information. So based upon this information is fed back to the model and the model gets retrained again 
so and then so that it, it is continuously learning as and when we, as and when start agents start using the particular wisdom based upon the knowledge repository that is available in the customer system the last thing which i want to discuss today from the uh, agent perspective is task so as you could see when a customer request request for a particular information it is not just one system the agent will be interacting the agent would get that information he may needs to create multiple tasks in different systems to ensure that he get the right information and then gets a coordinated information when the customer calls back to the agent to say hey what happened to to my request so he need to go into the multiple system to track down all the tasks to do it so what amazon connect provides is a task so that helps uh, helps the agent to create task specific to a particular customer and then it could it, it is easily linked back to uh, the related task so that they are able to know that okay this customer query uh, is related to this particular task and this task is related to the multiple sub task and it provides us it provides us to provide a better customer experience to say hey you have called uh, one month back reporting this issue and we have solved it with this can you try this again or this is the status of your credit card and it is being dispatched or provide the status when when the credit card is getting dispatched so it provides uh, an agent to track that uh, task and then helps them a lot and before I, we finish up i want to share with you on one more feature of amazon connect now amazon connect chat supports apple business chat Amazon Connect native integration with Apple Business Chat makes it easy for businesses to provide convenient and familiar customer service directly through iPhone messaging app. With Apple Business Chat, any time an iPhone user wants to connect with business, they can be prompted to chat with an agent. And this is a powerful way to reduce inbound phone calls by deflecting them to a low cost messaging channel from the enterprise cost perspective. And also from a customer perspective, they don't have to go out and make a call and wait in the queue to get it answered but rather than they can continue to their, do their work by just responding to an apple message at their own pace just like they would when they are texting like a friend if you haven't tried amazon connect yet please feel free to go ahead and sign up log into the aws console today launch an aws connect instance and claim a phone number and start taking calls before we finish this slide trust me that's that easy to do there is a lot of tutorials available and a lot of youtube videos is always available to it and if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us we are happy to uh, help help you guys or work with you guys in building the contact center <coughs> thank you everyone for joining us in today's session kindly let us know how we can help in providing better customer experience 